What's going on guys? Wednesday the 9th and we are back in New Hampshire now at the gym. As you guys know, my last video was all about the Arnold and being in Ohio. We had such an awesome time being there and having the opportunity to just connect with so many awesome people and just getting to spend time with all everyone. And uh, But we are back in New Hampshire now, trying to get back in the grind. We went to the gym like late last night. <clears throat> we didn't get done till like 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, which is the latest we've worked out in a long time but the post-expo depression is real. It's brutal, but about to get a workout in. She's staring at me. We just got out of the neurologist. She, we're trying, still trying to figure out what's going on with her head and neck and everything, but they said it could be muscular, so that's a good thing, but the bad thing is that she needs to take time off of training because a lot of the muscles in her neck are just so tight, and unfortunately she has to take a little bit of a break and just kind of pull back, but I really think it's going to help out in the long run, so she's not too happy about it, but it's going to help her out. I know it. I'm about to do chest and triceps. I'm just going to run through it really quick because she is just doing cardio. I'm going to be really quick about it, maybe give you guys a couple tips on each of the exercises, but with that being said, let's get started. So with this hammer strength isolateral chest, uh, best thing I can tell you guys is stay under control. So I see a lot of people just get under the machine and just start pumping out reps with a fairly high weight with no regard for their form or really contraction of the muscle. Where obviously using a machine is going to work a majority of your prime movers. Right? It doesn't really require a whole lot of stabilizers. So whereas like a free weight dumbbell or a bench press, you need a little bit more stabilizers to kick in there. But with a machine, you don't, so all the more reason to really focus on the movement, maybe pause at the bottom and the top, or one or the other, just to really focus on the movement itself. So that's a tip for the hammer strength isolateral chest. Moved on to a hammer strength isolateral chest, but this one's horizontal. So it's going to be more of an overall chest movement instead of an incline like I did previously. So tip for this movement, and I guess this kind of applies to almost every movement, but as you guys can hear, my breathing. So I'm obviously exhaling at the top, bracing as I descend, hold for a second, and then exhale at the top again. So focusing on your breathing can help out a lot with focusing on the muscles, as well as getting the most contraction out of them as possible. So breathing, breathing is a huge thing. Uh, as you go through the concentric motion, as you get towards the end of it, or like the end range of motion, say like this when you're at the top. So that's the concentric, when you're getting, when you're getting near the end of that range of motion, exhale and you're gonna wanna inhale, embrace, and hold your core nice and tight towards the eccentric and the bottom so you're nice and tight. Uh, so that's a tip for this exercise, as well as just about every other exercise. For the incline fly, or I guess any fly really in general, what you should really try to focus on is maintaining a fairly constant elbow angle. So what I see a lot of people do is when they come down to the bottom of their fly, they'll come down, their arm will be fairly straight, will come down, they'll really bend the elbow a lot. Whereas further away that weight gets from your body, the harder it is going to be for you to control. And that's what you want with the fly. You want a really deep stretch and you want to put that muscle under a good amount of tension. So maintain that good constant elbow bend. So you don't want to come up straight and then come down and bend. So what you want to do is try and keep that elbow fairly straight in a constant angle, like I've said, and then come up and squeeze at the top. So try to keep that elbow fairly straight the entire range of motion. So with the wide grip tricep push down, your focus is going to be that long head of the tricep, not the lateral head. So you have three heads of the tricep, hence tricep. You have your lateral head, your medial head, and then your long head. So 
they all help form that horseshoe. With the wide grip push down, you're gonna want to really focus on keeping those elbows nice and wide because the more stretched out that long head gets and the long head actually inserts over here on your shoulder blade. So if you guys can stretch out that tricep a little bit more, same thing with like an overhead extension. Uh, with the wide grip, it's gonna stretch out that tricep a little more. So focus on keeping those elbows nice and wide and pushing outwards and really focus on um, contracting on the inside of your arm. Whereas like with the rope, which I'm actually gonna do in a second, you're gonna wanna push out and spread, which is gonna get that lateral head. So with the wide grip, keep those elbows nice and wide. So with the rope push down, like I'm doing right now, obviously you're trying to pull the rope down and spread it apart so you get that lateral head. But what I think is even more important with this movement is maintaining a constant speed throughout the entire movement. So I see a lot of people load it up with a ton of weight again and just really use the momentum and yank it down really fast and they don't really focus on the contraction. So really try and hone in on feeling the muscle of the movement. So slowing it down a lot, maybe going two seconds on the way down, two seconds on the way up, even with lighter weight. So I lowered this by two, two plates. I was at 57 and a half, now I'm only at 35. So lowering the weight isn't always a bad thing. It can actually help you improve on your form. So really focus on maintaining the constant speed with this, feeling the contraction. So I have already done two other tricep movements. First one was a wide grip push down for the long head of the tricep. Second one was a rope push down for the lateral head. And now I'm doing a reverse grip push down. So my palms are facing up, straight bar. I like to use an easy, bro, easy curl bar if it's available, just because it, um, there's less stress on the wrists with that one with a little bit of a bend in the bar. Uh, but obviously if there's nothing available, then you'll have to stick with the straight bar. But basically the completely supinated grip with the tricep push down is going to get that medial head or the middle head of the tricep at the very top and it kind of sits underneath the other two but it still provides a lot of mass for that tricep so tip for the reverse grip or the supinated grip push down is basically keep those elbows forward just a little bit more so instead of keeping them close to the body push them out extend out a little bit. What that's going to do, it's going to help keep a little bit more tension in the tricep the entire time instead of coming straight down and having that line of pull directly above your hand. So there's going to be constant tension in that tricep the entire time. So that's the tip for the tricep. This is my last movement. Uh, so I'll catch you guys later. 8.45, just eating dinner. Pretty basic dinner tonight, just uh, 150 grams of rice, six ounces of chicken, two of the Laughing Cow cheese wedges, and one and a half servings of low fat sour cream. Decided to have a little bit smaller of a dinner because my dessert is going to be bomb. So what I ended up making was very simple, yet I'm so excited for it. Vanilla ice cream topped with cinnamon bun Oreos, three of them and topped finally with some caramel Hershey's caramel sauce. So there it is. <laughs> really nasty day here in New Hampshire. It is although it's nice and warm, it's still rainy and not a day that we wanted to come to the gym. So, but we are here, which is good. I am doing back and biceps today. I'm probably not gonna show you the entire workout, maybe just a few clips of uh, the exercises I do, but you guys have seen so many back and bicep workouts that uh, I don't want it to get super repetitive. And that's just that. But what else did we do this morning? We were getting a lot of work done this morning. Logo design for the clothing that we are really trying to get off the ground. I had a lot of inspiration this weekend from some friends that we talked to, which is always nice. Get a little kick in the ass, get things going. Just tell us to take that leap. Mr. Brian Turner, thank you for that. So we're about to go in. Other than that, I think pretty standard day. 
Catch you guys later. I love us give a fuck So put them hands up higher Let's match this party up So put them hands up higher So put them hands up higher So put them hands up higher Let's match this party up So put them hands up higher So put them hands up higher So put them hands up higher Let's match this party up six o'clock just made dinner and check this out I know I've showed you guys this before but I just can't get over it how good it is and how much of it there is You're literally <laughs> so much food 71 carbs 8 fat 71 protein for this entire plate so definitely like twice as much as you'd get at a restaurant with like probably half the calories so obviously my screen is cracked there but those are the macros if you can see 71, 8, 71, which is pretty dang good if you ask me for a pasta dish. So we are going to eat. We're probably going to just watch a movie tonight. I don't think we have anything too much else on the schedule. We haven't really relaxed much lately. Obviously, we're in Ohio. But since then, we haven't really had time to just chill out. We've been working quite a bit, so we're just going to relax tonight. Uh, with that being said, that's going to conclude this vlog, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you would like this recipe, I know I already did one kind of briefly, but I didn't do the exact amounts for all the ingredients for this exact recipe. Let me know, and I leave a comment below if you want it. It's going to finish up this vlog, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you very much for the support, and stay tuned for big things to come from us. We're really pumped. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.